Any pious claim that the use of tau ruins Euler's beautiful equation. The equation states e to the power of i times pi plus 1 equals 0, which contains the five most important numbers in mathematics. If you use tau, that will give you e to the i tau over 2 plus 1 equals 0, which gives you a nasty factor of over 2. Taoists will then say, well, what about this? e to the i tau equals 1. And the pious will say, but that doesn't contain all the five numbers. You forgot zero. And the Taoist will say, all right, then, how about this? e to the i tau equals 1 plus 0. Piists will then argue that this is a fudge. You can add a zero to any equation you want, so of course there's going to be a little zero in there. But this isn't necessarily the case. The original equation is e to the ix is equal to cosine of x plus i sine of x. This is the thing that Euler first came up with. Then, if you evaluate at x is equal to tau, you get cosine of tau plus i sine of tau, which is equal to 1 plus 0i. So there's actually a 0 in there to begin with. Now, take a look at Euler's normal equation. e to the i pi plus 1 is equal to 0. This is derived from the equation e to the i pi is equal to negative 1. But since e to the i pi equals negative 1 doesn't contain anything that looks beautiful, they add 1 just so they can get a 0 in the equation. This in itself can be considered a fudge. Another argument for piists would be that the equation e to the i pi equals negative 1 is better than the equation e to the i tau is equal to 1 because it has a special property of raising a positive number to a power and getting a negative answer. And take a look at this little graph. It is a little graph of the complex plane showing the numbers 1, minus 1, i, and minus i. If you want to know, say, e to the i tau, you just take this circle and you go all the way around. If you want to know e to the power of i half of tau, you go halfway around the circle and you get negative 1. And if you want to know e to the power of a quarter of tau i, you just go around a quarter and you get i, and this is e to the i one eighth of tau. Since the negative numbers are equal to half a rotation around there, it is more natural to write it as the equation e to the power of one half of i tau is equal to negative one, because it shows that the negative numbers are actually half a turn away from the positive numbers, which is much more natural than a simple e to the i pi.